quick video to show the difference between the original remote and the uh, one I purchased here that I'm reviewing. The, the original remote is the one on the right, and this is the new remote. So you can see uh, the buttons aren't exactly the same, and I was, I was willing to let that go. I didn't know I was buying a generic replacement. Um, so that's, that's issue number one. Issue number two, I'm going to try to do this with my phone here. I apologize for the quality. Issue number two is the back of the remote. You can see here they give you a little bit more of a divot to put your thumb into and they give you this uh, it gives a little bit of roughness there that you can slide this off you can almost do it with one hand this one there's hardly any divot whatsoever for you to get the grip to so this was insanely difficult to slide the battery cover off of uh, aside from that the reason i'm re returning this one is because i had connectivity issues i would go to pair this remote and then when I'd come back uh, an hour or so later, uh, it wouldn't work. Okay, so that's that's my review for, for the replacement remote. Um, I, I went ahead and repaired this one. I, I dropped it a few times. It was rattling inside, and then the clicky button here wouldn't click anymore. So when I tore it apart to add a little shim or something to put it all together again, now this one works, and I bought this little nifty uh, silicone rubber thing to not only protect it, it glows in the dark, and it holds it together now that the little clips inside it broke. Okay, so I wouldn't say that's an effective replacement. Uh, you're this is a replacement. Fire TV Cube Remote works perfectly, turns everything on, open Netflix, it's got voice command, 